from Las Vegas, it's theCUBE. Covering VMworld 2018. Brought to you by VMware and its ecosystem partners. Welcome back. We're in Las Vegas at VMworld 2018. You're watching theCUBE, and one of the key themes of the show we've been talking about is multi-cloud. At Wikibon in our research, when we talk about multi-cloud, really at the center of it, it you're talking about data. And so we're going to have a, a center we're going to talk about here. I'm Stu Miniman, my co-host for the segment in the next couple ones is Justin Warren, and happy to welcome back to the program uh, two gentlemen from Druva, Jaspreet Singh is to my right. He is the founder and CEO, and Dave Packer uh, is the president of Product and Alliance Marketing. Gentlemen, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks a lot and good to see you again. Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, first of all, I have to say, you, you guys had a fun thing going on uh, this, this, this week. Uh, the Mountain, uh, the who's the world's strongest right. man. Uh, He's my uh, cousin, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, that, 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 that's amazing. He, he got the height, you got uh, you go. uh, <laughs> so, so, something else. So, um, um, I'm not filing a complaint, but I, I do have video proof of him uh, putting his hands around my neck. Uh, <laughs> um, luckily, he didn't squeeze too much, but uh, some fun stuff as we, we like to have some fun in the community here. Um, you know, Jesper, let's, let's start. You know, your presence at this show, the, the importance of data, the importance of uh, virtualization as it, as it comes to Druva. Absolutely, I think the, I'm going to give a cliche, data is a new oil, right? So, it's center of everything, the whole digital transformation. We, we think about, you know, the, the data being transforming the world, and we think about you know uh, how very old school you know uh, legacy industries are still transforming themselves, and data is at the core of it, right? Talk about energy sector, talk about uh, commodity trading, talk about consumer uh, electronics, or any of those core uh, transformations, right? Um, and at the, at the center of this whole transformation is data, and, and Druva is all about passionate about how do we manage it holistically in this new world uh, for multi-cloud. Yeah, it's interesting, I got it. I've seen way too many debates. It's, we, we try to come up with simple analogies and I think what we're in general all agree is we're understating how important data is. But maybe you can touch on, you know, when big data came out, it was you know, the three V's of what we were doing. When you talk about multi-cloud, there, there's a lot of aspects of this. What's changed with data? Druva's been around for a number of years now and, and helped customers get their arms around uh, you know, leveraging and, and managing and dealing with data. You know, so what, what recently is so important about data uh, and uh, some of the options there? It's a great question. I'll, I'll talk about two key trends which are shaping the way how people think about data, right? If you, one is the, the change in the data itself. If you think about last two years, um, the 80% of data being created is not machine generated. It's about human text, messages, uh, the new kind of data is born. Second, um, there's a whole generation of uh, data analysis, call it cognitive systems, search analysis, data enablement systems being born between, and they're all growing at a massively you know, fast rate. A combination of these two, enterprises are trying to understand how they manage more dispersed and diverse information uh, in, a, in a very uh, meaningful manner without having to learn any new platform you know, from a start. And this is where Drova comes in. Drova's promise is data management as a service, which means uh, you have a data everywhere, and we will give you a simple SLA-based, uh, always on, on-demand service to manage it wherever it resides, be it in, in private cloud like vSAN or, or, or vSphere or vMware, or be it public cloud like VMC or AWS. And we have uh, built organic systems, acquired companies to sort of give the whole breadth of management solutions built from a, built from a same um, a console or call, uh, platform offered to enterprises. Yeah, Dave, I want to pull you into the discussion yeah, here. Yeah. Um, you know, years ago it used to be every company, like, let's vertically integrate everything, you know, Oracle will become your one-stop job, IBM, you know, examples there. Now, you know, we, we know it takes a village to interact with right. your data, uh, ecosystem and community, uh, big discussion points here. Maybe we talk about how, how important that is to Druva, yeah, how, who you work with and the like. You know, the way we look at it is, you know, foundational to what we do is really about how you get at the data, right? Regardless of its source, be it endpoints, be it servers, physical or virtual, be it cloud workloads, right? Which is kind of a new operating environment for a lot of businesses. And, you know, when you think about building out the ecosystem, you have to figure out, you know, you've got this, this rich set of data you brought together. You've got the metadata, you've got all the information about where it is, who has it, who's doing what with it, right? And then the ecosystem that 
builds out there is then much more use case basis, like security oriented, right? If you can think of one element around, you know, how do I know when there's something happening in my environment that's actually going to impact my business ahead of time or at a point, and you can use some solutions to solve that today, but when you have that bigger picture, you have a better understanding of what's going on and what's not going on, right? And I think, you know, where we've gotten to as an organization is being able to provide this framework to have this kind of unified view and access to all these different data sources um, to manage them for the foundational elements of resiliency and DR, et cetera. But also, you know, we find that in our large enterprise customers of big use cases around data governance, compliance, GDPR, you know, all the buzzwords we've heard of in the last year, right? And you know, Fundamentally, how do you help companies better align to those particular use cases? We can do some of that, but we don't do all of it, right? And I think that's fundamentally where you get into the ecosystem of building out. Okay, so and Druva's cloud native as well. Yes. So what is it about the cloud, I mean, multi-cloud and, and cloud, cloud all the things is, is clearly one of the reasons why we're here at this show. What is it about Druva's uh, cloud native abilities that, that provides the value to customers as distinct from some other solutions? Well, you know, when you really think about what's the difference, like what is cloud native, right? It's basically, it's treating the cloud like an operating system, right? You're building using the native databases, storage architectures, all the different elements of, the, of what the service provides. For a customer's point of view, what it really means is agility of access to services. So, on demand, if I've got to scale up, I just acquired a company and I want to add in a petabyte of data, how do I do that? If I've got a traditional on-premises environment, it's very hard to do, it's very hard to protect. How do I figure out the DR around it, everything else, right? With native cloud, it's just basically, you turn it on and you go, right? And I think people today, it's, it's a nuance that not everybody's really intimate with, understanding like the native environment versus maybe running an instance in the cloud and trying to scale out multiple instances of a service. In our world, you get the agility, you bring in cost efficiency because uh, we're using microservices, we're using the data storage layers smartly, right, intelligently, where it, instead of just dumping the data into it, right? Yeah. And that gives a, the customer the ability to have a better understanding and really move over to a consumption model of, of purchasing services, right? A month to month, I know what I'm doing, I know I have predictability into it, I understand where my pricing is and what, what I'm actually paying for rather than paying for it all up front and then growing into it over time. I'll give you one example, right? Same difference between uh, VMware and v VMware traditional and v uh, the VMware cloud, right? The whole notion of consuming something uh, as you go on demand, burst capacity, right? Uh, SLA driven to a customer at a price point anywhere in the go in the world. And an example of that with Drova is, uh, we promised the customers, if we, are, we are testing with the customers that would you care if we drop the price of backup by 30% if, if you do off peak hours backup? Right. That's the power of SaaS, the power of as a service, right? Where they don't have to orchestrate a service building software, cloud, hardware, and put it all together. A simple service delivered to a customer at the price point they need. Yeah, that's data as a utility, really. Right. Exactly, right. right. Yeah. Well, and as just Reed said, you know, data is the new oil, right? Well, one advantage of the cloud is that you now be able to turn that oil into other products. Huh. Plastics, you know, Vaseline, oil, you know, all these different byproducts. Because now you can use the various services of the cloud, whether they be AWS or multi-cloud, and connect them into a service level architecture to be able to do data analytics to get better intelligence out of your data and use it for more than just the traditional data protection services, really use it as a data management platform. Yeah, you know, one of the conversations I've had with a lot of users at this show in previous years at VMworld is, you know, multi-cloud, hybrid cloud, it's where they're going, but you know, there's a spectrum of where they are. A lot of them are, you know, still a little bit trepidatious as to how they get there, mm -hmm. how do they start making some steps. You guys are architected kind of like, this is where you need to go. How do you help them along those journeys? You know, what are some pros and cons? You know, how, how, do, you, how do you help, you know, the kind of the, like a typical VMware customer, if you will, move along those journeys? That's a great question, right? So if I'm a, if I'm a data admin, if I'm a madman, worried about either the business continuity or the legal aspect of data, right? Uh, to adhere to cloud, I have to learn a new platform, a new paradigm, right? The Druva really comes handy there. Now you can get the, the cloudiness, all the goodness of cloud, without having to learn a new platform. And Druva attaches a service 
with your uh, vSphere, so the moment you spin up a bunch of VMs, they're already protected without provisioning more hardware and software. That's, that's number one. Number two is, we have a customer journey map which says that, Mr. Customer, the number one thing you should worry about, and which you, which you already worry about is business continuity. We got it covered as a simple SLA, apply to your VMware, wherever it is, on premise or in the cloud. As you get through your business continuity needs covered, you have data governance need, compliance need, where Druva can now get the value extracted from the data you're predicting to give you compliance and governance needs out of the data you already have with us. And then comes the intelligence piece, the automation, uh, the higher value security operations, which are now working with the customer, building with them to solve those value, high value use cases and completely ab abstracting out that they don't have to learn a new platform they don't have to know Kinesis or Redshift. We know it all to give them a single use case they pay the money for. Uh, it does make it easy for customers to then just say, look, if I were to, for example, buy another company, as you mentioned before, then, well, it's already covered, I can use the same system I've already got, right. that will work really nicely. Um, and for the same reason, something around uh, M&A that people often don't talk about is the divestiture part. Right, so if right. I wanted to split off a business unit and I have to somehow unwrap it from my existing backup system, right. being able to just say, well, I can just turn off that little portion or... Right. or so can you explain how would that actually be handled in Druva? Can you just split out a service and say, well, that piece is now being handled by a different company. Yeah, it's a great question. Actually, one of our customers, Allergan, actually, one of their main use cases around M&A, right? So they've acquired in the last uh, two or three years about 10 or 12 companies and, you know, bringing them in, but they've also had to deal with divestitures as well, right? Yeah. One of the advantages of the service we provide is they can just quickly deploy the agents and start pulling in the data. They don't have to integrate the data centers and figure that part out. Yeah. And the divestiture is just basically doing the opposite, dropping off off the agents and then purging that data from, from the system as needed, right? And that's a, you know, one of the beauties of, of the cloud is that having kind of like that master catalog across all those different spots of your data allows you to go in and say, I want to remove this particular data set, which is also really beneficial for things like GDPR, where you might want to find a piece of data and purge it out of the system. We'll remove it from the source as well as all the backup set shots, right? Which is something that's kind of unique, but something that we can provide because of the way we actually handle it. Yeah, so before we let you go, we're talking about M&A, so uh, Cloud Ranger, it was a recent acquisition. H how's that fit into the overall story and, uh, you know? Sure, so we had a, we had a vision to build uh, what, what we call Apollo and we announced in the world to manage uh, native workloads in Amazon, Redshift, RDS, EC2, and the data management aspects of them. We saw a, a great team, a great founder, a great vision, and, and they already had some great traction on the common DNA Druva has, building as a service business model to address uh, these pain points around data management of native workloads. Uh, we acquired them and what, what uh, we acquired them and we kept the team and the BU intact. Uh, Druva is also building its, its platform, called Druva Cloud Platform, where we have a single search across all data sources. We have single reporting, alerting, uh, even consumption, so customers can consume what they like and get billed for the total usage versus having to provision software and hardware. So Cloud Ranger uh, cleanly fits into that. And now they can protect with Druva endpoints, data center, cloud native workloads, VMware Cloud and also SaaS services. So you got, got them, the entire umbrella uh, covered very well. well Jess Breed and Dave, really appreciate the updates. C congrats on the acquisition. And uh, yeah, thanks. We had, Great, had, thank had you. Some fun here at the show too. Yeah. For, for Justin Warren, I'm Stu Miniman, back with lots more coverage here at VMworld 2018. Thank you for watching theCUBE.